Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can enhance our renders in Enscape plus AI. So let's get to work. First of all, I need to introduce new AI, which name is Korea. You can log in in this website, Korea Open Beta, and it helps you to upscale and enhance your images or renders in different type of projects. And you can see the changes in here. So I'm going to click on the uh, SketchUp environment, as you can see. So this is the uh, simple 3D interior project, which is done by SketchUp Arc Studio in London. So I want to take some test render, and I want to show how we can see some differences in our upper scale renders. So first of all, I need to change the time of the day to the morning, for example, something like that. So I'm going to minimize it in here and click on the uh, maybe the scene which related to the uh, bedroom. All right. And I want to remove one of these curtains or hide it and click on the uh, Enscape environment. So I want to change the time of the day another time and use the uh, sunlight as the uh, main light source for my render. So I'm going to click on the uh, save frame in here, click on the uh, visual setting, output, change it to the uh, custom mode and use some type of 101 aspect ratio, click on the uh, save frame and now this is my frame in here. So I need to focus on these table and decorations and accessories. So I'm going to reduce the field of view to some number like that. Fix the uh, camera angle. Hold Ctrl plus U and I. Change the uh, time of the day. Something like this. And something like that. All right. Like this. I think it's good. So I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit. Click on the depth of field, turn off the autofocus, play with the focal point and focus on my targets on this table. Reduce the depth of field again about maybe 8%. Increase the outline, image bar, auto contrast is checked for me. I want to reduce the color temperature, reduce the saturation a little bit, not too much. And bloom option, lens flare. Wignate can be reduced and chromatic aberration is not really important. So in the atmosphere, we have some brightness. I can decrease it to create some medium light like that. And now we have better GI calculation in our render. If I increase the shadow sharpness, I can create these type of hard light shadows, but I don't really like it. So I'm going to reduce it and convert it to the soft shadows. Artificial light brightness is not really useful right now. Ambient brightness related to the hyperlight and the sky option is not really important. So time for the rendering. I'm going to use the two point perspective for my render. Close it in here. And I want to render it. So I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in here and I want to save it on my desktop. So I'm going to select the desktop and type test render for AI and I'm going to click on the save option. It takes a little bit of time and after that Enscape will generate some type of render for us. Uh, the main point and note is that I don't pay much attention to the setting. I only click to create this render for myself and you can see maybe the quality of it not very really perfect but it's acceptable. So I'm going to close it, click on the uh, Google Chrome and I signed in in this website before this tutorial so you can use your Gmail and sign it up. I'm going to click on the upscale and enhance in here. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can drag and drop your file in here. So I'm going to click on it, desktop, test render for AI and I'm going to click on the open. It takes a little bit of time to upload your render and I will wait for it. You can buy your account by the pricing and some other part of this website. So it's completely simple and easy.
All right, as you can see, it will click on the enhance to start the project because it's uploaded for me. I can change the enhance factors from 1x, 2x, 4x or 8x and you can see change of the resolution. I prefer to use maybe 2x for example because 4x and 8x need the uh, subscription account. So if I turn on the setting in here, I can write some prompt. So for example, I want to write increase sun flares. I don't know how it will work. So I'm going to set it out on the uh, default. AI range is about maybe 0.6 is enough. Re as in balance is the uh, 0 0.38 and clarity is about maybe a little bit more, for example, 0 0.47. So resolution can be changed, but I want to use the preset of it. I want to change the uh, color correction to the on mode and click on the uh, enhance. All right, it takes a little bit of time and after that, your new render and image will be enhanced for you. I think it's really wonderful for people who have low config systems and they can use this website for increasing their renders or images quality. So I will wait for it. All right, as you can see in here, new image generated for us. I can use this dimer and picker. You can see the changes very simple and easy. For example, in this case, you don't have any special shadows, but if you turn on the uh, enhancer, I think it's work really great and you can enhance your renders. So if this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.